guys. Next up, we've got Simon Wyatt. Uh, Simon is the founder and co-owner of Primal Fitness in Manchester. He's also a blogger at Primal Living. And for the last seven years, he's been a personal trainer and nutritionist. Really looking forward to what he has to say. And uh, let's welcome Simon. Yeah. Cool. Good morning, everybody. I had a feeling with it being first session that I was going to have some uh, slightly worse for wear looking people. Um, so hopefully you can take some of this in today. Maybe we'll have to rewatch the video in the future if you're uh, not quite awake yet. Uh, it could be quite fitting though because the subject of today's talk is uh, what you made of talking about food basically and drink. And uh, basically just the purpose of this talk is not to tell you what to eat or tell you not what not to eat. It's more to get to think about food and the effect it has on your body. And I'm sure you're probably feeling the effect that drink can have on your body at the minute. So uh, yeah, maybe that'll uh, bring it home for you. So I've got a bit of a formatting issue come up here. So it's a little bit small. Apologies if you can't read it, but I don't think it should matter too much. Uh, what I'd say today, I'm going to try and cover quite a broad range of topics. Uh, if you have any questions, just make a note of them. Uh, I do have a tendency to go off on a tangent, so uh, I'll try and keep the questions just to the end. I'm going to try and sort of hammer through this, get as much covered as possible in the uh, 45 minutes. Uh, so I've got four topics I'm going to cover today. Uh, you are what you eat, you are what you eat eats, you are what eats what you eat, and you are how you eat. So it sounds a bit mad, but it'll hopefully all make sense in the end. Uh, so you are what you eat. So this is what I want to try and uh, get to think about. I want to think about food, basically. I see a few of you eating things now. Um, an important concept is that we are made of food, literally. Um, what is food? Food is a source of energy. Everybody knows that, calories, etc. It's also a source of raw materials. Uh, potentially, the food you eat is a source of toxins as well. Uh, and also food uh, can be a source of pleasure. So food, you know, it's a lot of different things. Uh, so food for energy, this is what people think. Oh, you know, I'm hungry, I need some energy. Or, you know, I'm tired, I need some energy. Um, to be honest though, nowadays, food energy is not in short supply. If you look around the streets, um, you know, body fat is stored energy, basically. And there's plenty of people with plenty of energy supplies there stored, ready for use. Um, so although people say, oh, I need some energy, I need to eat, most people are carrying around quite a lot of uh, energy with them all the time. The conventional wisdom basically says that it's all to do with calories in versus calories out. Um, but it's not quite that simple. Eating one calorie uh, in food does not necessarily equate to one calorie burned or one calorie stored. Uh, there's various different things that can affect this, such as thermogenic effect. Actually, it takes calories uh, to digest food. Some foods take more calories than others. Uh, raw versus cooked, for example. Cooking food makes it much more digestible. You eat the same food raw, you'd actually get less calories than from if it was cooked. Uh, meal size, you know. Traditionally, people have said, you know, eat little and often. That could be completely backwards, actually, as we'll come on to later. You eat a big meal all in one go, it's much harder for your digestion to extract all the calories from it than if it's little, small meals. Um, yeah. And then genetics, metabolism, two people can eat exactly the same foods. You know, one will extract a lot more calories from it than the other. So it's not just a simple question of calories in versus calories out when it comes to, say, weight gain. Um, or weight loss, um, which is what a lot of people are primarily concerned with or think about. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, let's say, on you know, specific goals, but as weight loss tends to be, or fat loss, should I say, tends to be a you know, goal important to a lot of people. I'm just going to quickly have a look at this. Um, the big question, you know, do you need a calorie deficit for fat loss? Do you need to you know, diet, basically, reduce your calorie intake? As with many things, it's a bit of a, a yes and no answer. Um, generally speaking, if you're taking in loads and loads of calories all the time, more than you need, 
your body's not going to tap into your fat stores. Because what's the point? If you're constantly feeding it loads of fuel, why is it going to tap into your fuel reserves? Um, having said that, you don't need to starve yourself in order to lose fat. You don't need like a huge deficit. And uh, I think the important thing is that calorie deficit doesn't need to be a prolonged period of time. Uh, I think a good analogy is like uh, your bank account. Uh, if you think of like fat burning as uh, dipping into your overdraft, it's possible to dip into your overdraft briefly and then have a big lump sum of money come in, take you back into credit. Uh, on an di almost daily basis if you're getting money in, in your account all the time. Uh, so you don't have to go for prolonged periods of time uh, without, with you know, a calorie deficit. Um, equal question, uh, is a calorie surplus necessary for muscle gain? I know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in building some muscle. You know, you've had a lot of speakers here in the past about uh, you know, high intensity training, most effective, efficient way to build muscle, Doug McGuff and so on. Um, question is, you know, how much do you need to eat in order to do that? Again, there's a belief in the mainstream that you just need to shovel down loads and loads and loads of calories, um, just eat and eat and eat to put on weight. Fortunately, I've seen this in the past, um, you know, first-hand experience, people do this, they put on a lot of weight, it just tends to be fat. Um, energy is required for numerous things. In actual fact, the most calories you burn, you know, you're just standing around doing nothing while you're sitting here, you're burning calories. Uh, when you do activity, if you go for a run, walk, carrying stuff around, go to the gym, uh, doing any sort of activity, you're going to burn extra calories, but surprisingly little really compared to what you might expect. Um, and then equally, it requires some uh, energy to build muscle. It doesn't require as much as you might expect though, and this is the important thing. A um, good analogy um, I saw uh, on Keith Norris's site, the previous speaker here, I asked the question, does a child grow because he's eating or does he eat because he's growing? 